OET speaking, sample test three role play. Progressive retinal atrophy, veterinary science. This transcript does not contain any language errors. Practice and succeed. Vet roll card. Pause the video and read. Client roll card. Pause the video and read. Hello again, Sheila. I'm Peter. We met last time when you brought Pal in for the tests. How are you doing today? I am okay, thanks. You are here for the results of Pal's eye tests, is that right? It is right. I hope everything is okay. I'm afraid that I have some bad news, Sheila. I'm sorry to say that the test results show that Pal has what we call progressive retinal atrophy. This is a degenerative disease of the retina, which means that it will get progressively worse. And unfortunately, I have to tell you that Pal is likely to go blind in about 12 months. Sadly, the condition is irreversible, so there is no treatment. Are you following me? Oh my God, that's terrible. My poor Pal is going to go blind. I thought she just had an eye infection and everything would be fine. I can't believe she's going to go blind. What could have caused this? Try not to worry, Sheila. It's not your fault. These things often happen to Labradors. There is no known cause. It could be genetic or the result of something like a vitamin deficiency. I'm very sorry. I know it is very challenging news, but please be assured that Pal can still live a great life even after she goes blind. Dogs have an excellent sense of smell, much better than humans, and she will be able to compensate with this and get around just fine and lead a relatively normal life. Do you have any questions or concerns about anything? I don't know how she will be able to manage when she goes blind. How will she know where she is going? That's a great question. Dogs are amazing creatures, as you know. They are very smart and positive animals and can adapt to situations such as this. I have many clients with dogs who are blind and they all manage quite well. So, even though it is a challenging situation, it is manageable. Do you mind if I make some recommendations for how you can help Pal? Is that okay? Yes, please. That would be great. The first thing you should try to do is to teach Pal some new help words, which will make her understand when to stop and slow down. Secondly, you should also try speaking more to the dog so she gets more used to the sound of your voice and learns to obey your instructions. This will be very useful when the blindness eventually sets in and she needs to rely more on your vocal commands. Does that make sense? Yes, so I should speak to her more and get her to understand when to stop and slow down so she doesn't bump into things. Is that the idea? Yes, that is it exactly. I would also like to suggest that you join a local support group where you can get further advice and additional support from other dog owners who are in the same position as yourself. I think that this would be very useful for you. You will be able to meet other dog lovers and get a lot of helpful tips and advice from them. How do you feel about that? Does it sound like something that you might be interested in? Yes, I am definitely interested in joining a support group. I would like to get all the help and support that is available. This is not going to be easy. I appreciate you feel anxious, Sheila but you are not alone and there is support available in the community and you will be able to do this. Do you have any other questions or concerns? No, not really. I feel better now that you have explained the situation to me, but I am still a bit shocked by the awful news. It is understandable, Sheila, but we will get through this. Do you mind if I just summarize what we have spoken about before we finish? Please do. So, 
Hal has a condition called progressive retinal atrophy and is quite likely to go blind within a year. She will be okay after she loses her sight, but you need to prepare her for the time when she will no longer be able to see. You can do this by talking to her more and teaching her commands like stop and slow down. I will email you the contact details for some local support groups and you can go and get some advice from members of the groups. Try not to worry, we can get through this together. Do you have any final questions? No, thank you for everything. You have been very helpful. Okay. Sorry again about the news, but stay positive and you will get through this. You have my number if you have any questions. Call anytime. Thanks. Goodbye. See you soon. Pause the video and practice.